we are literally just the stewards of it so that the black community in Charlottesville has a place that they can call their own. A day marking freedom for African Americans, June 19th, 1865, remains a time of celebration for communities even here in Charlottesville. An annual parade and gathering at the Jefferson School African American Heritage Center invites people to come celebrate this rich history. Leslie Scott Jones at the Heritage Center says that this event is just one of the many that the center is able to reach the black community here in Charlottesville. It started a little over 20 years ago. Originally, the Juneteenth celebrations here were on the grounds of PVCC because Tamara Turner uh, was running them. When she retired, there wasn't, there wasn't really a place to have them that was affordable because, you know, she got PVCC because she worked there. This would not be the end of celebrations here in Charlottesville. In 2016, Executive Director of the Heritage Center, Andrea Douglas, invited the celebrations at the historical school. Dr. Douglas said, oh, well, if you guys need a place, this is the place. And so Juneteenth started happening here. And last year, so Dr. Douglas basically came in uh, one day and said, we're, we're going to parade. Mm -hmm. And so that happened um, for the first time last year. And I think people really liked it, especially the route that we chose. It's literally coming from one traditionally black school to the first black school, you know. It's been a lot of fun. As curator of education and public programs, Scott Jones also contributes to a number of other events and programming that engages many. I run a couple of our programs. Mm -hmm. um, one of them being um, an education program um, for youth called Echo Ise, which is Yoruban for performance education. They're the same kids that drummed in the Juneteenth parade, just trying to give them exposure to things that they wouldn't normally be exposed to. Scott Jones emphasizes the role of community and their impact here at the Heritage Center. Uh, we couldn't do anything without our community, uh, literally. This is our 10th year of operation, and a lot of it goes to Dr. Douglas and the groundwork that she laid, you know, 10 years ago, um, with really getting to know this community and what they wanted this place to be and what, how they wanted this place to serve them. The people who come here for events or the people who um, collaborate with us to do events, they know that this is a black space first and always. That steadfastness uh, has really taken hold in the community and they, they know, they know what they're getting when they walk in here. Members of the community can join the Heritage Center for a number of events they have planned in the next upcoming months. Dates can be found at their website at jeffschoolheritagecenter.org. I'm Zoe Brooks, WUVA.